Hi, and welcome to Simple IELTS Solutions. Thanks very much for joining me. In this video, I'm going to look at some questions and some model answers from the latest IELTS speaking question bank for part one about computers. Computers is something that comes up very regularly in both speaking and also writing. So it's a good idea to have some vocabulary and think about what you would say to answer some of these questions. I'm going to look at two questions and two model answers and also I want to hear from you but more about that later. When was the first time you used a computer? Please tell me your answer in the comments below. I want to hear from you. You're not going to get better if you don't practice answering these questions. And that's quite an easy question, I hope. But let me know in the comments below what your answer would be. I out speaking part one topic, computers. When was the first time you used a computer? Why don't you stop the video here? Answer the question yourself or better still, Tell me your answer to the question in the comments below. Right, let's have a look and see what I answered. The first desktop PC that my family got was an Acorn Archimedes computer. It wasn't very powerful and the graphics and sound were terrible. But we are talking more than 30 years ago now. Okay, let's look at the vocabulary I've used there. So, desktop PC. So, desktop, that means that it sits on the top of the desk. So, it sits on your desk. PC stands for personal computer. So, a desktop PC is a sort of old type of computer that maybe you get in an office nowadays or something like that that sits on the desk as opposed to a laptop, which you can take anywhere with you. Graphics, it's a noun, and that's a display on the screen. So that's the things you can see on the screen and how good they are. Terrible is a good adjective to use. Instead of bad, we can say terrible. Uh, and it means very bad. So if something's terrible, it's awful. It's not great. It's not good. And... We are talking. So I said we are talking more than 30 years ago now. We are talking. It's a collocation. It's to introduce something you're talking about. So we are talking. I out speaking at the moment. Don't forget to hit that like button if you're liking this video. And also share it with anyone else you think it would be useful for. And I also want to invite you to my IELTS speaking course. And this only takes five hours of your time. And this is designed so you could make an answer, even if you have only limited vocabulary about the topic. So check the link in the description below. And that's my IELTS speaking course. Right, back to the video. In what condition would you use a computer? It's a bit of a weirdly worded question, this one. In what condition would you use a computer? What do they mean? I think they mean when would you use a computer the most or something like that. Don't forget to pause the video and answer the question yourself. And then see. let's see how I've answered. Computers are used in almost all aspects of our lives these days. From ATMs to give us money, to having video conferences at work. I think you would have to try pretty hard to get away from computer technology in our society. Right, let's look at the vocabulary I used there. Aspects. That's a particular part of something. So, if we're looking at a painting, say... What aspect of the painting is the colour yellow? So what part of the painting is yellow? These days, 
good collocation to talk about things now. So at this time, ATM is an auto teller machine or a cash point. This is where you get money out from the machine in the side of the wall. I actually used to think an ATM stood for an access to money, but it doesn't. Uh, video conference is a noun, and that's a communicating over video. Computer technology, that's computer related things. So any technology or gadgets or devices that are linked to a computer. And society. Society is the people living together in a particular country or a particular area. There we have it. That's two questions and model answers about computers. How did you get on? Did you let me know your answer in the comments below? If you want to see some more part one model answers, then check out this video here. And for more help with your IELTS, check out this video here. Thanks for joining me. See you again soon. Bye bye.